Hi everyone, Jeremy Long, the venerable Mike Price here once again, TFC Prime and Mike, it's football season. The best time of the year, it's like Christmas in August. Well, I forgot what month we were in. Right, right. Uh, so, you know, it's, uh, you know, my favorite time of the year, your favorite time of the year, uh, but there are still a lot of questions. You know, we had a busy off season. The Browns kind of making some moves that make sense. Uh, my Cowboys, of course, got a lot of questions. Of course, you have the Eagles coming fresh off their first Super Bowl in, uh, ever, Never. you know? Yeah. So there you go, man. So let's take a look at the NFC. Give me your six playoff teams. Who do you think from the very beginning of the season, who do you think have pegged uh, for the playoff race? You know, that's really going to be hard, Jay, because it's a coin toss. You know, the NFC is probably the strongest division that we're looking at as far as football is concerned. So for me to sit here and say, you know what, this one is definitively the team that's going to go, your conference, the NFC East, is probably the hardest one of all to pick for. I mean, because like you said, you have the Eagles who are coming off a Super Bowl win. And then we also have uh, the Cowboys who should be a lot better. We don't have the problems that we had with Zach last year. So, you know, when I look at this, to answer your question, my six team, starting with the first one, it's, it's going to be the Eagles. You know, although that they have a scenario going on with the two quarterbacks, I got to believe that Carson Wentz is going to bounce back this year, finally get back in here. Nick Foles, as we saw, was someone who can lead you to a Super Bowl. And so I look at him to go all the way, you know, to the playoff. Then, you know, this is where that, that slippery slope comes into play, staying in the division. I'm going to go with the Cowboys. You know, we don't have the uh, issues as far as Dak is concerned this year. That offensive line is still there. And then more importantly, I think that Dak is going to come into his own. You know, he's a leader of the house and, you know, of the uh, locker room. I think that he can pull it off and do give them the leadership that they need. You know, then we go into the NFC West. Man, I think that's the Rams to own. Uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, I would say the same. San Francisco, probably a year away from Garoppolo, you know, being the guy that they want him to do, leading them to the uh, playoff. So, you know, I look at that. Seahawks, you know, they have fallen off. Yeah, I, I think they're like an old man on oxygen at this point. Oh, sorry about that, Pete Carroll. I was not talking to you. <laughs> and uh, then we go to NFC North. God, Detroit. Can we, can we win one game in the playoffs this year? That's right. I'm picking the Detroit Lions. Matt Patricia. That's all I got for him. That's all I got. I think it said it in the, I should have said it, yo, Matt Patricia, get your stuff together, son. That's how we won it in Detroit. Wins, wins, wins. And then who's going to win the division? Aaron Rodgers. It's Aaron Rodgers. Now, who the hell he's going to throw it to? I have no damn idea. You know, are you suiting up this year? I might be. Uh, yeah, I got, a, I got a contract on the table right now. Right now. And, and I think that's about all they need. And uh, we look at that division. The Vikings, everybody wants to say that they're going to be the team. I don't know, man. You know, uh, Kirk Cousins. It's Kirk Cousins. How, you know how much money he has in the bank right now? Uh, $1.50? No, $78 <laughs> million dollars Ooh, okay. in guaranteed uh, money. All right. I don't know if he's the answer. You know, uh, I, I, I like the team, but I don't see them giving them, you know, going out and doing what they did last season. The last but not least is going to be the Falcons. You know, I like the Falcons. Julio Jones is probably the best wide receiver. I know it's a big controversy between Antonio Brown, uh, OB, o, OJB. You know, it's clearly, uh, God, who am I speaking of? <laughs> Julio, Julio Jones. Jones. Hey, it's good radio now. It's like radio on TV. I keep hey, it consistent. Julio Brown and OJB. Yeah, I don't know who those people are. Interchangeable. They're all interchangeable. You know what? I work hard at my notes. I work hard. But I think it's going to be the Falcons. The Saints are probably going to go on decline this year. Uh, the Panthers, they're the Panthers. You know, you never know what you're going to get with Cam yeah. Newton. And then we have uh, the Buccaneers and Jameis Winston's out for the first four games of the season. And that's important, you know, not having your quarterback for the first four and getting your rhythm, that takes you into the next four games. So they possibly could be one in five, you know, by the time he gets back in there. Right. I mean, by the time things get rolling. So right. uh, that's what I'm looking at, man. It's, it's going to be entertaining to see, you know, I'm looking forward to what the Lions, you know, it's another Belichick uh, offspring who's going to be coaching. They haven't done well in the past. So, yo, Matt Patricia, get your together.